Hello. Welcome to another video. In this video we are going to talk about Secure Sockets Layer, SSL. SSL is a type of protocol. It allows data to be sent and received securely over the internet. A users can check if SSL is being applied to the website he is using when they see HTTPS or the small padlock in the status bar at the top of the screen. Secure Sockets Layer is a protocol that's used to ensure security on the Internet. It uses public key encryption to secure data. SSL encrypts the data, so only the user's computer and the web server are able to make sense of what is being transmitted. So basically this is how SSL works. When a user web browser send a message so that computer want connects to a website that's using SSL. The computer's web browser will ask the website to identify itself, then the web server will respond it by sending a copy of its SSL certificate to the user's web browser. An SSL certificate is a small digital certificate that is used to authenticate the identity of a website. Basically it's used to let your computer know that the website you are visiting is trustworthy. So then the computer's browser will check to make sure that it trusts the certificate. And if it does it will send a message to the web server. Then after the web server will respond back with an acknowledgement. So, when SSL session can proceed then after all these steps are complete. Encrypted data can now be exchanged between your computer and the web server. Transport Layer Security TLS is similar to SSL but is a more recent security system. TLS is a form of protocol that ensures the security and privacy of data between devices and users when communicating over the Internet. It is essentially designed to provide encryption, authentication, and data integrity in a more effective way than SSL. So, when a website and client communicate over the Internet, TLS is designed to prevent a third-party hacking into this communication, causing problems with data security. TLS is formed of two layers. Record protocol. This part of the communication can be used with or without encryption. It contains the data being transferred over the Internet. Handshake protocol. This permits the website and the client, user, to authenticate each other and to make use of encryption algorithms. So, a secure session between client and website is established. Only the most recent web browsers support TLS, which is why the older SSL is still used in many cases. Here are some differences between SSL and TLS. It is possible to extend TLS by adding new authentication methods. TLS can make use of session caching, which improves the overall performance. TLS separates the handshaking process from the record protocol layer, which holds all the data. SSL and TLS can be used to secure many sensitive data. Some of the applications of these are online credit card transactions, any sensitive information exchanged online, web based email, the connection between an email client and email servers, cloud based storage systems intranets and extranets, virtual private networks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel.